everyone, so today I am playing Toontown Rewritten, and Toontown Rewritten is a remake of Toontown Online that was made by Disney from 2003 to 2013, and Toontown Rewritten finally came out of beta after like, I believe, four years um, on September 1st, but I was away, so I wasn't able to play until today, which is September 5th. So, we're gonna get going. I wanted to make a Let's Play with the new update. But then they announced the Laugh Olympics, and I wanna get into that. So, this Let's Play is gonna be a very rushed one for the Laugh Olympics, and I will explain the Laugh Olympics after I show off the new species. So, to actually be in the Laugh Olympics, you have to use one of the two new species that came out with the full edition of Toontown Rewritten. The first one is the crocodile, which I did not vote for because I thought it would look weird. I think it's the cutest. Then we have the deer, which is the one I did vote for. And it is adorable. Like I love this head, my favorite, with the short antlers and the smaller uh, snout. But the deer noises sound so super weird. So we're gonna make a crocodile. So there's two, a couple of heads. Right now, I think I like the tall head and smaller snout. Yeah. Oh, this one's cute too. <gasps> I think I'm going to do this though. Now, body-wise, I think I'm going to do a smaller, like a small fat one. Because I've never had a tune this size. And I think it'll be a lot of fun. But going back to the, uh, the deer really quick. I don't like the noise of it. I think they did a really good job on the model. I think she's super duper cute. But this is not what I want to play. I really want to play the crocodile because I don't want to be the problem with the deer and the noise. And I cannot stand their noises. So let's pick a color. I'm not sure what color. Actually, I know what color I want. Let's do this one. Or... I want green, but I feel like everyone's going to pick green. But I think I want to pick green. What other greens do we have? Any others? Um, no, I think I'm going to pick... Oh, I like this green. But I like the other one better, too. It's really... I'm This one or this one? I think I'm going to do the green. Yeah, let's do green. Everyone's gonna do green, but like, I don't care, I'm gonna pick green. Let's do, what goes good with green? Um, let's just do all white. Yeah, this works. Now, a name. I did not think of a name because I wasn't sure if I wanted to do a crocodile or a deer. But then I went on my main tune and I heard the deer noises and I hated them. So, cricket. No, that sounds weird. Um, Dizzy's cute. Dizzy, Dizzy. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I like to have them all start with the same letter. I just feel like it sounds the nicest. Dee Dee Dizzy Dazzle. That's adorable. So let's do that. I am not going to do the tutorial because I feel like I've done it. I know how to play the game. Um, people who are watching this most likely know how to play the game. And if you don't know how to play and you really want to play, totally play. Um, the link will be down below in the description. And you can do the tutorial yourself. But we're going to skip the tutorial because... Now I want to explain the Laugh Olympics. The Laugh Olympics, I will also have a description about it below and also a link to the website page about it or the blog post about it. And it is pretty much, this is your laugh right here in the corner. I have 16 laugh in total. If I get to 50 laugh by the end of September, then I could have a bronze uh, metal shirt. Like a reward type of thing. And also I guess like jelly beans and such. And some other little things. But the main thing is people want these shirts. Then, um... This is just describing the different, uh, how to get places and such. I have to go and get 
um, an eraser by a cog. So let me just explain the game really quick. So you're gonna have laugh. There's cogs, we're tunes. There's cogs that are trying to take over the tune universe. And we want the cogs to go away. So we play pranks on them and like tricks on them. Try to make them go away pretty much. And we like destroy them by like squirting like flour and water at them and throwing like pumpkin, not pumpkin pie. I don't know why I said pumpkin. Um, there's regular pies and such at them. We're dropping anvils on them. So it's a really cute game. These are the cogs. There's different types of them. They're trying to take over and like corporize the Toon universe. So we have different gags and we're trying to attack them. Going back to the Lap Olympics, there's different laughs. So we have, I start off with 16. If I get to 50, I get the bronze medal shirt. If I get to 100, I get the silver uh, medal shirt. And then if I get to 115, which I don't think I'm gonna be able to do, um, we get the gold one, and then you also get entered to win, um, real life Toon Fest, uh, merch, so, that would be exciting, so I'm really excited to try my best with this, I think I can get to 50 laugh, I'm not sure if I can get to 100, but that's like my goal is 100, but I'd be happy if I only get to 50, and 115 I don't think I'm gonna get, because, my main tune I've been playing for over a couple of months now, she is only 106. So trying to do this by the end of the month while I'm working and doing other things and having a life, I don't think I'm going to be able to do. But I knew I wanted to do a let's play and originally it was just going to be like a regular let's play. Like, oh, we're at a beta, let's just, you know, play and like do the new things and take our time. But now I want to do the Laugh Olympics with... DD Dizzle Dazzle, so we'll see how it goes. You know Toontown is a lot more with friends. Oh, I hate this. This is new. I swear it's new. I don't remember this, but now you have to make a friend. Like, as, like, your second task, which is odd. I don't remember that. Maybe I always had a friend first. Where is everyone? We're gonna go to a new district. So this is the new district, uh, like, looking thing. So they have new district names, which is new for, um, Ada Beta. They're just different names. And then these little safes are, they're safe from mega invasions, which only happen once a couple of months. So I don't know why we need, um, icons. I wish it would just say, like, right under here, like, oh, it's a, a safe one or whatever. Um, and then these are ones that are only with, for tunes who use the speed chat, while most people use this so it's mostly for like i guess kids can go and like just be safe let's go to splashport or let's look at the invasions i like the name of this so let's go to splashport i just need to make a friend so we're gonna do that next my goal for this episode is to get up to picking um yeah i know go up to picking a um and gag. Who's gonna want to be my friend? Toots, come here. Be my friend. Yes. Okay. I hate how you have to just make a friend. I want to, like, actually only friend people that I actually hang out with and talk to, but it's okay. Tooth can be our friend. Let's go around. So these are the, the HQ officers. We're gonna talk to them. They're telling us about, um... The catalog, which is at our estate. So we're gonna go check that out first. I wish this was part of the tutorial, because it's kinda it kinda is. Like I know all this. I shouldn't have to like check out the catalog and um make a friend and whatnot. Like I know how to do this. So it's alright. Let's just check out the catalog. So it's the series one, number one, makes sense. Ooh, is Halloween stuff around? Oh, yes. Yes, it is. There's Halloween stuff. I haven't checked the catalog yet because I just haven't been on my, my new tunes, my older tunes yet. And I'm super excited the catalog has Halloween stuff. I have yet to play um, during Halloween time in Toontown Rewritten. I, I played with the Toontown Online when it originally was a thing when I played in like 03 to 05. Um, I was a member as a kid. My whole family played. But I, I'm just excited about the Halloween stuff. But that's not what we're doing right now. 
Let's go to, I know. <laughs> Let's go to headquarters. So going to headquarters, they'll give you tasks to do and um, just to help like the, you know, the area, the playground. I didn't buy anything. So now I got from that, I went from 15 laugh to 16 laugh. And now we're gonna talk to Flippy in the gag. Um, what is he, in Toon Hall. I'm gonna talk to him about getting a new gag. So the different gags we have, let me just show that off really quick. There's Toon Up, which actually heals um, other tunes. There's Trap, that's like kind of like um, throwing marbles on the floor and having them trip. Lure is like magnets and uh, dollar bills that actually lure them into the trap or um, make them so they don't like they lose a turn each time. Sound hits everybody and it's just like elephant noises and whatnot. Throw is like p different pies and cakes. Squirt is like fire hydrant and st uh, seltzer bottle and such like that. And then drop um, is also like pianos and anvils and safes and whatnot. So it's all like classic tune funny things to make the cogs laugh but the laughs make them like just get destroyed um and if we lose our laugh we go sad and then we like lose all our gags and we like go to the playground and we can't like do uh defeat any more cogs until we uh get happy again. I think it's adorable the way they like made everything like happy and sad and um, trying to make everyone laugh. It's just very like tuny and I love it. So we're gonna wait in line for this person to finish reading. I shouldn't be mad that they're reading because I'm gonna read to you guys really quick just to show like how everything is. Hey, uh, I remember seeing you outside of Tom's place earlier. I don't believe I formally introduced myself. I'm Flippy, the president of Toontown, no sorry, Toon Council here in Toontown. Hopefully, we'll be seeing each other more often. It looks like you need a lot of practice training your gags. You see, every time you hit a cog with one of your gags, it increases experience. When you get enough experience, you'll be able to buy better gags. Why not try it out? Let's defeat four cogs. So, in this uh, book, you know, this is like the settings, the different districts, so we can like bounce around there. The map, all the clouds are being, uh, or hiding all the other places we'll go to eventually. The gags I showed you before. These are different tune tasks. Later we'll have four at once, but right now we only get to do the one. So we're doing four cogs just for gag training. This will show later. This is a little bit more later and then whatnot. Those are not important at the moment. So let's go. I have to actually go to the trolley because to get gags, you need to have jelly beans. And to get jelly beans, you either go on the trolley or you can fish or go to Bean Fest. But right now, in the beginning, I have to go to the trolley. There's no way to get out of going on the trolley. So I think we'll play like two games on the trolley and then we'll start defeating cogs and trying to finish this task. My goal for this episode is to get to where we're able to pick which gag we want next. And. We just have to do two things for Flippy, I believe, and then we'll be able to decide what we want to do. Oh, no. No one plays this game. Oh, they changed it. This was not like this. Wait, how do I play again? I don't even know. Is this bad I don't know how to play? Nope. I don't know. Oh. What button is it? I clicked so many buttons, I don't know. Oh, here we go. It's slower now. Okay, so this is a game no one likes to play because it's just so slow and takes forever. But they changed the facing on it. This is like the new logo. Huh. And it's slower. Why is it slower? It used to be a lot quicker to like do it. But most people skip this game. But I need... I need gags. So I need jelly beans. I need to skip this.
Okay. That game was annoying. Alright, so now we're in this uh, section, so we're gonna put in that we want these certain gags. We're gonna play one more time so I have... Oh, oh my gosh. This is another game no one really likes. Um, I don't remember how to play. Oops. I figured it out. Fall. 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 Do it. Fall. So we need him to do whatever's on the bottom. And take a picture of it. Oh! Got it. That was bad. Alright, let's look for this dog. Ooh, I need you. Oh no, you're not even doing what I want. No! I just missed it. Ugh. He's behind the pole. He's probably waving because I need him to wave. Oh, there he is. Wait. Alright, let's just waste our film so we can get on with this. Now, I know I said two games, but I feel like we should just do one more. I hate this game. Why? Why couldn't it have been games I liked? What? Wait, what button do I click? I forgot. Nope. Press down. Oops. I figured it out. Well, that's depressing. I haven't been on the trolley in so long. Oh, this is me being sad. I haven't been on the trolley in so long because when you're a higher tune, you just fish or go to Bean Fest. Or you just use the just for fun tasks. Like I haven't, for jelly beans, like I haven't used the trolley in like forever. No, 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 no. Stay on, stay on. No. <sighs> of course, the three games I'm not a fan of, come on. Let's try to get this. This is the last one. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> so I think we're going to get the 16 jelly beans. Is that how this one works? Yes. All right. This is fine. Let's move on. Now we have to defeat the four cogs for Flippy, the president. So I think my strategy for this is to do my best. No, um, yeah, do my best, but like try to do this as fast as I can. And I don't know when I have free time fish. Cause I'm not going to get to 115. I know that I'm not even bothering to try. But, the different laughs, so, all we need to do is get to 100 laughs. To get to 100 laughs, you have to, um, finish all the playgrounds. Are you kidding me? Yep, it's okay. Tell me how cute, tell me how cute the crocodiles sound. They are adorable. I love them. But um, I don't like how the deers sound. If I hear the deers, I will let you guys know. It's just, they sound so weird. I don't like it. Oh, he left. Oh, how'd you do that? Well, that's a little glitchy. Oh, is he facing the wrong way now? Oh, no. That was weird. But overall, I think the strategy is to... Focus on throw. I'm going to focus on throw. I will do squirt because I don't know when. I don't really remember when that task is. But you need to deliver squirt gun to somebody. So I need to get up to squirt gun. So if I focus on squirt and throw. I'm going to like just do half and half during Toontown Central. And maybe parts of Donald's dock. I will be able to get to that. 
But after that, just focusing on throw. Get that max. Because that is the most powerful gag um, in the beginning. And I feel like it's just going to make things a lot easier. And for Minnie's Melody Land, which I hate. That is like my least favorite um, playground. We need the cream pie, which I believe is four. The fourth one. So. Oh, I didn't know you wanted to squirt. Oh, wrong person. But, um. I forgot what I was saying. I'm reading this and it's getting confusing. But. Focusing on throw. I think will just make it a lot easier. Because right now. The goal is, is not to have everything maxed, is to get to 100 laugh or 50 laugh or 115 laugh, is not having all the gags maxed. So you can have really bad gags and just get the good laugh and you'll be fine. So not focusing on my gags, but more focusing on just getting through the game. To get 50 laugh, you need to get past or like midway past the berg. Um, oh, okay, bye. Um, so we just have to get to midway of the berg to get 50 laugh. That's just doing the playgrounds. That's not thinking about fishing or racing or golfing. Golfing's still broken, so we can't do that. Um, so we're just focusing on, like, getting through the game. Now, to get to 100 laugh, you just need to get through all the playgrounds. So, that is including Donald's Dreamland. So, that's all the playgrounds. But then you get to 100 laugh. You don't even have to worry about fishing or doing anything else. If you really want to get to 115, then you have to start worrying about fishing and whatever else is there. Racing, all the boss battles. But in the beginning for us... All we have to really worry about is just getting through. So it's okay if, you know, the squirt is really bad or if I have drop and I only have level one drop because the only ones that really matter and you can probably get through the whole game just worrying about sound and throw. So I definitely want to have sound. I think I'm going to go tune up list because I don't have a tune up list tune. And I think it's going to be the best. Oh my god. Gosh! Oh, tell me how cute he sounds. Oh, she. I have a girl. But she's so cute. I love the sounds from the crocodile. I dislike the sounds from the deer. It's definitely going to be way more crocodiles and deer because everyone in the community really likes the crocodiles and dislike the deers. So I was like, okay, everyone's going to be a crocodile, I'll be a deer. But I don't like how they sound, so I went crocodile, and I'm totally okay with that. But anyways, I think that was all four. Yes. So we have to go back to Flippy. Look at all the Halloween costumes, they look so cute. Alrighty. Let's teleport. So with this update, only you know, not only came the new species, but they added Grand Prix for the racing, which is great. And supposedly they fixed up the racing as well, which I'm super excited to try. Um, golfing is still broken, which is really upsetting because I'm telling you, the day racing broke was the day I was gonna start racing for my my main tune. Do you have a new gag yet? No, of course we don't. You know, the cogs come in four different types. There are cell bots for marketing, cash bots for accounting, law bots for legal advice, and board bots to keep them all in line. They wear different suits and name tags, so you'll be able to see the difference easily. Check your book if you need some help identifying them. So let's practice. Go defeat four of those cash bots I talked about. Goodbye. All right, so we're going to go to, I believe, this punchline place that has a 40% chance of having cash bots so we're gonna go there and then after this i believe oh, are we crashing nope we're good so we are going to punchline please for cash bots 
I'm like listening to for a deer. You hear that? That little ooh, that is the deer, and it sounds like a human speaking and pretending to be a deer, and it's odd. But so uh, golf. Okay, so golfing was still broken, and it broke the day I was gonna start with my main tune because I was waiting till I was past 100 to do like all the little fun ones like uh, racing and golfing. I wanted to like defeat the the task line first. And then I was going to do like the funner ones. Hey, that's not nice, Meanie. But weird, dear. So that's still broken. Racing's all revamped, and it has the grand prix. Oh, tune um, parties are a thing. I don't want level three. Uh, two parties are a thing. I had yet to play with those. And when I was playing um, 210 online, that wasn't a thing yet. So I'm excited to see how and what they are because I have no idea. Um, what else? There was a bunch of stuff. A lot of bug fixes. So now our tunes actually have their eyes open, which I'm so excited about. There was like a weird glitch that the eyes were like always closed. Um,. There's a lot of like little bugs and stuff, and I put on the smooth, I think it was smoother frames or smoother textures or something. I don't see a difference. I have no idea. Um, I did it. I followed Mega Snoop's uh, YouTube video about how to do it, and I did that, and I'm not sure if it did anything, because I don't really know the difference or what it is, but I did it. And if you notice it, cool. If you don't notice it, cool. And if you know I did it wrong and you want to tell me how I did it wrong, please tell me or whatnot. Because I don't see a difference. But anyways. <laughs> um, this crocodile I had. I just noticed it with the triangle on top. I guess it looks like a crocodile. But it kind of looks like the duck. The duck has like a weird like curl. And I feel like it looks similar. Okay. Do you want to do a building? No. We... No thanks. Oh, it's so cute! Yes, you do! No, I don't! Okay, we need... Is he gonna stop for me? I need... Cash box. This street is supposed to have... 40% cash bots. And I only see sell bots. Which I believe is also 40%. Okay, I'll let it slide. Um, that's a level three. I don't want to bother with a level three. How many more do I need? Two more. Are you fighting him? No. Someone's fighting someone. I swear I heard... Oh, over here. Wait for me! Aha! I'm gonna enter this battle. Oh, that's a cute hat. It looks really big. Okay. What is everybody else doing? A lot of people are doing alts, so this is probably someone's alt. Um, as in, they have two accounts running at the same time. So he's playing the new tune, but also is helping him out with his better tune. And like, tuning him up and luring cogs and whatnot. But, actually this might not be a case of it, but I know a lot of people are doing that. And I've never done alts, and I didn't want to start and like, just be like all like confused and overwhelmed by it. Because I already am going faster than I usually go. I usually take my time when doing the tasks and training and whatnot. So, what's everybody else doing? I'm trying to think what other things are going on in Toontown. That wasn't enough. Why did you do that? You should have just went. A lot of people have been crashing or not being able to get on. So Toontown Rewritten came out of beta on September 1st. I was away. I was visiting some family. And I didn't get home until like really late Monday night. So I was like, okay, I'll play Tuesday. So Tuesday's here and I had yet to crash. Everything was going good. I was able to get on. Everything updated properly. No problems whatsoever. 
So I'm happy that happened. Tell me this is a cash bot invasion. Backstabbers. I don't remember what backstabbers are. I don't have everything memorized. I've been playing for this for a couple of months now on Toontown Rewritten instead of like Toontown Online. And I don't have anything memorized. Every single time someone says a cog, I'm like, ooh, what type of cog is that? I have no idea. Why are you starting over as a cat, my guy? Um, I haven't seen it. So this, this is like tells you like what every cog is, like what type. But if you've never defeated that um, cog, then you have no idea like what type it is. Backstabber, I believe. Is it boss bot? I'm curious. I'm gonna go find one. Lore bot. All right, I need cash. So let's go to. So many high level invasions right now, and I think it's because people are ready in the berg. I think people are ready in the berg. I know someone posted on Reddit last night saying that they already got to 50 laugh, which congrats to you, my man. Like, that's super exciting. But I know I'm not going to get 50 laugh within one day. <laughs> but that person got maybe like two to three days with all the like getting kicked off and whatnot. And because so many people couldn't get on, they said they might extend the uh, laugh Olympics until the beginning of of November they haven't put in a date yet but I know they said they might extend it which is awesome because then I didn't really lose any you no know, timing I didn't lose a couple days or whatnot because I was away is this it you dead yeah you're dead <sighs> The only problem is trying to find certain uh, type of cogs. So cash bots are going to be hard to find, it looks like. A cog invasion. Tell me it's a low-level cash. Micromanage. That's boss bot. It's low-level, but it's boss bot. Um, what else is around? Is it every single one? Okay, no. This one. We're going to this one. This is not fair. I know a lot of people were complaining about this because a lot of people are doing invasions with their, you know, their main tune, and then a lot of people are having, you know, let's say every single district has an evasion, then, and it's not a cog you need, like, let's say you need, like, a certain one, like, you need a micromanager, but every single one is something else, then you can't get micromanagers at all, so, like, what are you supposed, <gasps> no. Mr. Hollywoods, are you kidding me? Like, ready? One, two, okay, this one. We're going to this one. 20 bucks. We get onto a street. I bet you 20 bucks. We get onto a street, and there's an evasion. It's, it's probably the same guy going to every single one and putting a bunch. Oh, this is not fair. So, there's a lot of high level ones because I think a lot of people are probably by the burg already. And they need a certain, you know, there's just a couple tasks you need certain cogs for. Uh, we'll see. I wonder how long this is going to take. This is supposed to be, like, the easiest task. Like, it's, like, one of the first. It, it is the first main one you do. And this is going to take forever. Yes. Oh, it's four people. So, so you only can do four in a battle. Um, I'm not going to be able to. How many do I need? I need one more! There's one more! Why- This is the busiest district. Why isn't there a cog on this street at all? Alright, level two. Wait for me! I'm coming! Hello! Thank you. So, I don't know how often these videos are gonna come. But my goal is to have a couple of videos a week because this Laugh Olympics is only for the first, you know, first the month of September. So I don't want to take my time. I might be a couple of episodes, and it might be um, a lot of long episodes. 
because there's a lot to get through. But that's okay. If you guys watch it, cool. If you guys don't, it's okay. This is just fun for me. But right now, I'm a substitute teacher, and I'm just waiting on calls. And if I don't get a call, then you know I'll just probably be playing and filming these videos. But if I get calls, then I don't know what's going to happen, because then I won't be able to do these as often as I want to. But we'll see. Yay! So we got a new squirt gag, and it is a cup of water. This is fun. Now we have to go back to Flippy. Oh, is this a new Viber Valley? Uh, rebuilding Vibrant. <laughs> so Vibrant Valley was a district that used to be before they changed their names. And it was a bunch of these, uh, well, I think they were mostly little kids that um, were role play the game. And it was super cute, but a lot of people got really annoyed by them and would hate going to Vibrant Valley. Um, so now I believe, is this, this might be the district that everyone's trying to make Vibrant Valley. Oh good, you're back. I was getting worried that you got lost. Now do you understand the difference between the four cogs now? I think you're ready to go ahead and start training for a new gag track. Librant Le uh, Librant What? Librarian Larry is an expert on gags. She can give you some advice on your next track. Let's go to the library. I believe this is the library. This is like the only time you ever go to a library. This bank here, I don't think I've ever been in it since Toon 10 Online. I don't think it has a purpose. I don't really remember. Maybe we'll go in there one day, because I don't really remember. This is a girl? I thought it was a boy. Flippy said it was a girl. Okay, throw and squirt are great, but you're going to need more gags to fight the higher level cogs. When you team up with other tunes against the cogs, you can combine your gags for even more giggles. Try a different combination of gags to see what works best. To start off, you can choose between sound and tune-up. Sound is special. It hits all and damages all cogs rather than one single one. Tune-up hits all your targets too, but they aren't cogs. Instead of hitting the cogs, tune-up heals other tunes by making them laugh. That is the way you can keep tunes from going sad in battle. It's a tough decision, so take some time to choose wisely. You can ask friends and come back when you decided. So I think I'm going. Let me just show the tracks really quick. Tune up is this one. This is the one that you can like tune up all. Like it's a healing one. And usually I am the person that likes to be the uh, the healer in most games, like any RPG games or MMO games. I'm always the healer. I'm always the clergy member. You know, the cleric and whatnot. Like, D&D, &D, I'm always that type of person. Um, but I feel like I'm not going to do tune-up. Because my main tune is trapless. Which, that means I have drop. And drop is so hard to train and it makes me, like, angry. And then my other tune that's not... It's technically my third, but I, it's really my second because I play the second most. Um, she is only, like, left 30. So she doesn't have all the tracks yet, but when she does, she's gonna go dropless so she has trap. My other two tunes I have, I don't really play. One's just because I felt like making a duck and I never played since after the tutorial. And then the other one is a cat that I play with my mom when she wants to play, which is not often, but sometimes she's in the mood to play, so I play with her. Um, we're on like the same, like I don't play it besides when I'm playing with her because then they're on the same task and they can do things together. But I feel like for this Olympic, sound is very important, so I don't want to go soundless. Lore is very important, I don't want to go loreless. And then trap and drop, I just, I kind of want both. So I think I'm going to go tune up list. So for this first one, I'm going to pick sound. Hello? There we go. Let's choose sound. Ah, great decision. Hang on a minute, I can't give you the gags. Didn't Flippy tell you about training? Before you can use your new gag track, you need to know how to collect them by collecting strip, uh, film strips. Tune HQ can give you a few tune tasks to earn them. There are 15 of them, and they show you the animation of your new gag. Once you collect all 15, 
Um, then it'll allow you to use them, check your book for your process, blah, blah, blah. You can now train that. Okay. Let's just, pr I hate like reading and then someone's waiting in line. I feel bad. So, each, not each, but yeah, each task is going to have either a reward of one of these, a reward for laugh boost, a reward for making your total you can hold of gags more, or the total of how many jelly beans you can hold. So those are the ones we're going to focus on. Can you give me one? Okay. We're going to do, for next episode, we're going to talk to Professor Pete, and we're going to get one laugh boost from it. Okay, so that is the end of this episode. I'm not sure how long this lasted. If you got to this point, uh, congrats and thanks for staying around. If you like this video and you want to follow me on my process, like totally subscribe if you feel like you want to and like and comment. Tell me what you don't like. Tell me what you do like. Tell me what I should do. Any like strategies or whatnot or how far you're doing or how good you guys are doing everything. And let me know how you like Toontown River and since it came out of beta. Because I am so far loving it. But that is all for today. Next episode, we're going to talk to Professor P. And we'll see how that goes. Alright, everyone. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.